Hey everyone, it is Benicia, your Community Outreach Specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office, and I am here at the Lander Lakes Detention Center, and I will be introducing you guys to our new Human Performance Advisor, Chris, who is doing incredible things in our gym, which is actually no longer a gym, it's the Human Performance Center because it was remodeled and redone, but he's gonna break it down to us why it's important, why our sheriff is fully backing it, the fact that we are the first agency, law enforcement agency, to partner with this company, and why it's fantastic. So stay tuned, let's see what we can get into, and let's get our men and women in shape. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I have HPA Human Performance Advisor, Chris Jacquard, for the Pasco Sheriff's Office. Welcome, first Thank of all. You. Say hey to all of our followers. It's your first hey time followers. on here. Right, first nice block. to meet him. He's the first one basically ever to hold his position also. Was this your title previously? Uh, yes, something similar, oh. but this is the first time it's been in law enforcement. Ooh, mm. we, don't, we don't talk about the past, though. We don't talk mm. about the past. So Chris is basically going to tell us about our new incredible it's not a gym anymore, it's a new resilience center, okay? Our human performance center that we have at the agency. The first of many, apparently. Yes, yeah? yes. Okay, so. all right, let's do this. Talk to us about the performance center. Okay, so initially we went to, when Pasco County Sheriff's Office uh, partnered with my current company, Exos, who I'm a contractor for. Partnership. Partnership, that's right. Um, originally, PSO sought out the <laughs> leaders. Okay. We have individuals at our agency working out right now. Yes. It's being utilized. <laughs> PSO shot, uh, sought out the leading human performance company really in the world when it comes to optimizing human performance. Now there's several out there, but Exos leads the way in a lot of different ways. When we look at um, what we're able to provide, we take a multifaceted approach to human performance optimization. So when we look at members here in the agency, we're going to take a look at things like your physical training, your diet, uh, your hydration, mental skills, all that kind of stuff. Recovery is big. All important. All important. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus mainly on the four pillars of performance, which are diet, mindset, uh, movement, and recovery. So those are going to be the things we address. Now, hopefully, we'll expand on several different facilities across the agency. For now, we just have to Bring one. one out to Newport Richie where I work. We're getting there. Just saying. Shake the money tree. 30 minute drive. <laughs> just saying. We're getting there. But eventually with that, hopefully more staff members will come along down the road. Exactly. But we'll see how it goes. I'll so, come. Yep. I'll I think, come. And when we look at what we can provide to agency members, ultimately the objectives are to improve your performance in whatever ways that you feel mm -hmm. are applicable to your job, but also off the job as well. So not not just certified members on the road. This exactly. is just any of our agency members. Yes, um, certified and civilian, mm -hmm. and, and also looking at reduction of injury, um, career longevity, and then making sure that we we ensure that we you have the highest quality of life possible, mm -hmm. okay. both on the job and off the job, during okay. service and post-service. So those are all uh, objectives of the program, both short and long term, mm -hmm. and then into the future as we expand services across the agency, more things will be available. I've recently heard that PSO might be the first law enforcement agency to do such a thing. It basically kind of sounds to me, in my layman terms, it sounds like we are trying to make our deputies and civilian members, everyone, like intense athletes. Like, first of all, we should be, you know what I mean? But it just sounds like the same kind of like training. Am I, am I yes. completely like missing that? You're not missing you know? it. Okay. You're, you're pretty close. Okay. So, Pasco County Sheriff's Office is one of the first, and I, I, I believe maybe the actual first that's taken this much initiative in terms of investment into a program like this. Hashtag Pasco Proud. Right. Um, the model that we're using, uh, including the staffing we hope to get into the future, is established in the athletic world at the highest levels. Uh, it's also established within the military. Okay. Uh, so we're trying to contextualize that model for use in law enforcement. So, Makes sense. Yeah, I would say for the most part, PSO is on the cutting edge of that because as far as I know, and I've looked into it, there's really nobody, no other law enforcement agency in the world that's doing something as, as uh, integrated as this. So seeking out professional performance, mm -hmm. a company uh, that provides those services and then actively partnering with them. So. I was not just looking for a moment to uh, brag about my agency. It's what I do in most videos. 
Yeah, so mm -hmm. everything we have in here has a purpose. Uh, it's also designed both in technology and in spacing and application to give you the highest return for your investment possible. So that goes hand in hand with the partnership uh, between PSO and Exos. Um, we're looking to optimize the return for the investment of the agency mm -hmm. members. Uh, we don't really, we're, we're not going to prescribe or, or, or acquire anything that doesn't have a direct impact okay. in a positive way. So all the equipment you see, some you may know, some is new. Um, it some. all is, yeah, it's, it's fairly proficient. You're going to see it mostly in performance centers that, that serve as professional athletes and higher end military personnel. Uh, but here, uh, that's part of the integration of PSO and EXOS okay. uh, because everything that we need, uh, we have. We'll expand on these facilities uh, as, lo as well as the equipment we provide, mm -hmm. but the majority of it will be uniform across the agency at every facility, so agency okay. members can access the same types of equipment mm -hmm. at every location. Beautiful. Yeah, Not so, like, oh, I have to go to the detention yeah. center because they have this one set machine. Yeah. It's, yeah. It'll be set. We may have a couple adjustments here and there, but for the most part, um, everything will be standard. So you'll get more bang for your buck, and uh, it, well, at least you'll be working on new equipment. Exactly. The older there stuff is... was, it's been around for a while. It's good oh, stuff, but wow. I think it needed a little you update. You know, it, it <laughs> had seen better days, that's mm. all. But yes. it, it got its use. It did. And then it just didn't. It makes yeah. me think of, uh, honestly, the Bla Brave Little Toaster. I like that movie. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Just flat. Okay. Random. Yep. Brave Little Toaster. So in a few of the clips you might see, um, there's various types of equipment that we've acquired and spaced out very deliberately here. There's five main sections that you'll see. Um, there's Kaiser Performance Towers, which take the place of the majority of machines. Uh, there's a lot of mechanical and peripheral benefit to those, uh, which we go into during our orientation that we offer here, Monday through Thursday at 12. Uh, we're looking at expanding on that for now. but. Uh, we have those performance trainers. Uh, we also have non-impact cardio equipment, uh, which we're going to expand on, or energy system development equipment. Okay. Uh, we are going to acquire a few new pieces, including a, a treadmill, which everyone seems to really like. This one's going to be a little Yay. different. It's a curve curve assault I treadmill, like so a little different. A little different. Yeah. A little different. So again, max return for your investment. Mm -hmm. um, we also have our free weight racks with our barbells and our plates. We have a lot of resistance bands that can be used in a variety of different ways. Uh, we have our, our free weight accessories such as med balls, kettlebells, uh, boxes, uh, ropes, ropes uh, all kinds of different things which we will add to. Uh, and then our dumbbells which are a little bit different than you would see conventionally. Uh, Most definitely. They have a lot more return on them uh, in terms of your movement mm -hmm. and investment. Uh, and they also have a lot more versatility. So each one of those sets is actually five to 90 pounds. Yeah. So we can fit a lot more in a smaller space. No, I'm so. from my Uncle Bobby. Yep. That's, I'm, my, my grandfather and my Uncle Bobby jacked dudes. It's what he has, yep. It's there you go. runs in the family. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like, my grandfather cannot run me on a mile. There you go. Yeah. Stout. He's a stud. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a man. That's, is that everything? I think so. That is, I found it very intriguing. Just explain explain briefly why there are no mirrors in this room <laughs> anywhere. So there's a lot of different no. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of different ideas on, on why they aren't the best. I mean, first they're hard to maintain and they have a tendency to break with some of the equipment that we um, have. Um, that makes sense. But also there's some other things when you talk about performance development. Um, when, which does not include taking selfies. That's time. right. So we're, we're trying to move away from, from people looking at themselves in the mirror yeah. and maybe making other people a little self-conscious. Exactly. Um, but also when we look at being productive, mm -hmm. there is um, some evidence out there that suggests, and I'm a proponent of this, um, instead of using your visual senses to track your, your movement cat patterns or your mechanics, especially correctives, uh, you want to be more aware of it kinesthetically, which means um, mind to muscle. Connect. So you understand, you can kind of feel where your body's moving. Um, so th with the mirrors being removed, uh, individuals who train uh, in here, or especially when we're trying to repattern their mechanics, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be more aware internally of how they're moving, uh, which leads to more return again. I like it. So, like it, no mirrors. But don't like it, because as soon as I walked in here, it was windy outside. I was like, all right, mirror. Oh, no mirror. mirror looks but fine. it's fine. Thank you. Thank it you very much. Yes. The locker room's right around the corner, guys. If you need a mirror, 
go, not that Locker. all of you are going, I mean, come work for us, I'm just saying, put the careers link in the description, then over time, you could wind up here too, or at any one of our five or six possible locations. Mm -hmm. But mm. if you haven't already done so, <laughs> like this video, even if you just think it's cool, and I think it's absolutely great that we're gonna get our men and women in better shape, yes. and that's Chris's job. Yep. It's his full responsibility to, that's a joke everyone, I really hope you caught that. It's not solely his responsibility. It's Everyone's individual responsibility to also do it on their own. If you haven't already done so, like the video, comment, just say hi. Say hello to the first time, to, to Chris, it's the first time you met him. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And like always, we will see you next time, guys. <laughs>